Oh. None was mistaken. Kyle Falk did it in Webster City. Todd what do you do? Says, back-to-back champion. Is this his? Yep. Well, I thought Chesterman was said he was coming to call the modified. USRA today. modified feature number one, Shad Batter out of Eight City, Missouri, the 73B. Gabe Hodges at Alibo, Kansas, the 7G. Make up your first row. Nick Bittinger out of Perry, Kansas in the 3B. The 97 is Cole Anderson out of the center, Minnesota. From Hayesville, Kansas in the car number 65, your current USRA National Modified point leader. That's Hollywood Tyler Davis to his outside from Grand Saline, Texas, the 64. That's Casey Fowler. Tyler Worley out of St. Genevieve, Missouri, the 66. The 98, Jeff Cutshaw out of Bolivar. Row 5, the Rocket, Rodney Sanders, the 20, the 21M. Ryan Middaw out of Fulton, Missouri. Hermitage, Missouri's Tanner Cade in the 19 car, the 127. Peyton Phillips out of Chanute, Kansas. Row 7, the 712, Trevor Hughes out of Westville, Oklahoma. And the 6 of Jason Payton out of Greenwood, Arkansas. Row 8, the 17 is Roy Long out of Stillwell, Oklahoma. 24C, Brandon Conk Conkwright out of Winnego, Kansas. Row 9, the 33S has been stocked in out of Kansas City, Missouri, the 747, Colt Eck out of Goddard, Kansas. This is parade lap time. Everybody up, hoot and holler, make some noise. USRA modified feature number one coming at you. Ground pounders heading your way. Andrew Thomas out of Chillicothe in the 12. D25, that is David Tanner out of Wichita Falls, Texas. Sam Oseman out of Spiro, Oklahoma, the 88. And Dylan McCowan, final start of the 1X out of Urbana, Missouri. Let's see Dylan McCowan, a local favorite around these parts, starting 20th on the grid. Where will we see the 1X at the end of this 20-lap dash? Feature number one. Lights are down. Bergeson looks over. And he waves the green flag on feature number one. Batter goes down to the inside. Here we go. Gabe Hodges upstairs, but batter too strong on the bottom. Working down into turn number three. Bittinger on the bottom side as well. Here comes Tyler Davis. Problems upstairs on the 64. Casey Fowler, he gets her gathered back in. Oh, my. Good battles all over the racetrack. This race, I want the same track tomorrow night. Any way we can replicate that, I'll take the deal right now. This thing has been slick and smooth from top to bottom. What a great show tonight as they are battling for the lead at the start-finish line. Batter, your leader, on lap number two. But Gabriel Hodges is on the good foot doing the bad thing, and he is into the number two position. Nick Bittinger, third. As they'll race around turn number four, it is still Shad Batter, your leader, as Chesty has entered the chat. <laughs> a little switcheroo on you. It was kind of whining and dining over in the promoter's suite. Now we're uh, up here to help you finish out the night. But as we got modified A feature number one on the racetrack, looks like we've lost somebody into the pit area. Couldn't quite tell who that was making the exit over there, but a good race for the lead. In the turns one and two, Hodges, Batter, Bittinger, three cars all make a bid for the lead down the back straight. Wow, what a good show tonight, Chesterman. This thing has been smooth as glass. It's slicking off. It is like a skating rink out there. And a lot of driver goes into this thing. you got to work hard to keep the tires hooked up. It helps to hit the setup as Batter work at the bottom side of the racetrack. You can go anywhere, and this thing is also smooth. What a show we've seen tonight. The 66 car, Tyler Worley, the one to watch. He'll take fourth on the exit of turn four. Yeah, Worley making the top side of the race. Wow, he is work. flying. Tyler Davis saw it, went up there, tripped up on the cushion. That allowed the 97 to Cole Anderson to race back to his inside. Anderson. Worley was an 18-2 in that last lap, almost wow. a second faster than everyone. Anderson kind of gave uh, Davis. Oh, he's into shoulder. the concrete now. Yeah. Oh, he smacks the concrete. He was the fastest car on the racetrack, an 18-2, and they were like a second behind him, but it's all for naught as he tackles the concrete in turn four. I think he did help us out, though. He scraped off the Lucas Oil well, we, yeah, over we there in turn that four. Now, yeah. So it wasn't tried, all for naught. Tried to grab just a little too much as the FK Rod Ends instant replay shows you that Worley, like we said. He was flying. Had the right rear parked up in the attic, and quite frankly, just got it up up above the cushion and slapped the wall. Oh, 
boy. He just did. cut, tried just for a little bit too much and couldn't quite make it stick. So the right front now. Can't tell maybe if it looks worse for wear. Yeah, Definitely busted be, on the right, right front. That, yeah. Would agree and with that. I believe it's one and done in the features. Is that what I was told earlier? Are they pulling off the speedway? I think if you're sitting with the caution, if you caused the caution, it's out. Yeah, I think the format, the way this week, the way this week works. Of course, there's a ton of cars in the pit area and a lot of racing each night. Uh, so, want to, you know, they put a format in place that uh, to try. You want to keep the show moving as much you as know, possible. Yep. That beat the awesome racing tonight. I believe it was the first B mod feature. That was a lengthy one with yes, cautions. It was. So it's it's obvious why you'd want to do that. Keep yep. the show moving. You don't want to bring up several cautions that are unnecessary. You won't. You don't want to mention the seven G of Gabriel Hodges. His first race behind the wheel of an A mod came earlier this season in August at the uh, uh, Kansas State Fairgrounds, the Hutchinson Grand. Was National. he a B mod before? He was a B mod That's what driver I thought. before. So, not very many A mod races underneath his belt out front leading this one here on night number two of the Summit Racing Equipment USRA Nationals presented by Chevrolet Performance. So, an a early. Lot of, uh, a lot of heavy hitter. Nick Bittinger, yeah. I got to see him. Over at Lakeside, you were gone. I, I got to fill in for you in April. And uh, right behind him, Tyler got the W that yep. weekend, Tyler Davis. So a lot of good race cars here tonight. And then, of course, Rodney Sanders spanked him earlier tonight. And that 97 has been cruising tonight as well, Cole Anderson. So great field of modifies in feature number one. You know, a real quick mention as the field comes back to green, caution really benefiting Davis as he had gotten up above the cushion over here and uh, lost multiple spots, but the caution comes out, saves him. Now he's got a good restart, challenging for the lead. Oh, three wide. Off of turn two, three wide down the back straightaway. Nick Bittinger splits the wickets off of two. Makes the croquet move of the night. He is taking two to the lead on lap number eight. What a move from Bittinger. Bittinger out in front of a couple of Bills built MK1 chassis. Tyler Davis on the bottom of the racetrack. He found what he liked down there as we got a caution once again for the 1X of Dylan Cowan over in the top side of turn number four. Got another car parked along the bottom side just inside the tire. Hard to tell. Looks like the 747 of Colton Eck. Bottom side of turn four. So, man, once again, that worth mentioning, Tyler Davis really saved by that first caution we had. Nearly took advantage of it and raced out to the lead here. That, uh, that good start to race by the caution flag waving on this one, but he's going to get another crack at it. The 21 of Ryan Middaw right behind him. Of course, Middaw with a lot of success around the Lucas Oil Speedway this year. The 127 of Peyton Phillips just outside the top five. Phillips a regular competitor here at the Lucas Oil Speedway. Has had a lot of success over the last handful of years. Middaw was track champion at two different tracks this season. Yeah, I believe Callaway and Lucas Oil Speedway. Fighting, fighting right now with Tyler Davis but atop the uh, leaderboard for the USRA National Title Hunt along with the 50 to the third of Brandon Davis. Field gets together on the Delaware double file restart behind Bittinger. We got a car we get to exit the speedway with. Colton Eck out of Goddard, Kansas, going to exit over in turn number two and one to go. A command from the starter stand. You can do it, Colton. The little engine that could. <laughs> there he goes. Colton makes the right hand turn back to the pit area. Bittinger once again going to bring the field to green. Eight laps in, 12 laps to go in this 20-lap affair. For the first of two modified features on the evening, Bittinger will bring, it back to, bring us back to it. Off of turn four, your eight features back underway. Tyler Davis looks strong tonight in car number 65. The benefit of that caution earlier, he is now in second. Here comes Middaw. The cream starting to rise. Rodney Sanders coming to life as well. Good battle up front, two by two by two to the starter stand. Bittinger continues to lead at the end of lap number nine. Davis in tow back into turns one and two. Middaw fighting with the seven of Hodges. 
Sanders trying to do battle with the 97 of Cole Anderson. That's your top six as the field rotates back into turns three and four into the racetrack. Benninger still with the lead by three car lengths down the front straight away. He'll dial up the top side of the speedway in turns one and two. Davis along the bottom. Turn two, that's where Davis really chews up some ground, but Benninger just too tough at the top part of the speedway into turns three and four. Oh, Benninger puts the right rear in the attic, as you mentioned earlier. Got another car exiting the speedway over in turn number two. Now a race for the lead. Davis stronger on the bottom hub off of two. And they are side by side, a drag race down into turn number three. Binger gonna come down the racetrack, tire protect the ground that he's made on the 65 of Davis. Davis will follow him up, pull back in line down the front straight away. Back in a one and two, Davis showed Binger the bottom side of the speedway, but Binger can't make it stick. Davis in the grip off the bottom of turn two. By Carly, separate him down the back straightaway into three and four. I wonder if Bittinger was able to see on the big board where he was headed because Bittinger changed his line to protect the lead and it has worked for the last couple circuits. Now he is just trying to make that race car about 40 foot wide as he's trying to hang on. Davis searching the speedway. Davis back to the top and it is not a lot of room for air. Davis all kinds of momentum until he upsets the 65. Yeah, Davis searching around the racetrack, seeing if he can find a way to set the 3B up for a pass here. Knows where he's fastest now as he gets a good run off of turn two on the bottom of the racetrack, dials up the top side and turns three and four. I get it right here. He's gonna try to cross him over and can't quite get the run, but you might see a slider if he can get right on the tail. He'll look to the inside. He's been better off the bottom of two, and there it is, side by side. A race for the lead into three and four. Bittinger tried to protect, which was the smart move on his part. He might have let Davis, him go. Davis just a little bit better on the bottom of the racetrack, was able to pin it to the tires. The car rotated in the center and gained, gained a lot of momentum off the bottom of turn two the last time by. This time by, he'll do it again to a three-car leaf lead on the back straightaway. It's interesting now. Bittinger to the inside of Davis. Put the pressure on as Davis fights that cushion. When you're running upstairs, especially in turn four, you miss your mark, you're gonna lose all kinds of track position. And Davis, a smooth cruise off the bottom of two, and now yellow a yellow is out. is out. That is the 19 car, Tanner Cade. Tanner Cade with problems in the middle of turns three and four. Right as Tyler Davis was coming to get the three to go signal, I think the two to go signal it would have been this time by. Davis, as of the points update earlier today via Jeff Nunn on USRARacing.com, now the current points leader for the USRA national title hunt coming into the evening. Looking to pad that points lead just a little bit here tonight. Rodney Sanders, he'll be one to watch on this restart. Now sits solidly in the third spot. Trevor mm. Hughes quietly into fourth as well. Three. It will be interesting with three laps to go. Is Sanders going to crash the party? Very well could. He's had a very successful year this year, of course. Trevor current. Hughes up from the seventh row as well under the fourth spot. Tyler Davis, it'll be interesting to see what kind of restart he gets with the 65 because he's got some guys coming right behind. mid off in the 21, Trevor Hughes is up, uh, what is he, in the 13th starting spot, up to fourth, up nine spots. Rodney Sanders up from the inside of row number five. Ninth starting spot up to third. So field gonna double up behind the central spray. Central spray foam, Gerber collision glass number 65 from Tyler Davis. Lights out, field gonna come back to green this time off of turn four. Pretty good restart for Sanders, my goodness. He'll pedal to the top. Watch the run off of two, here comes the rocket. 
trying to spoil the party. He's going to get a slider down into three and four. Davis will select the top side of the speedway, going to try to hustle back to the right side. With the 20th Sanders, he gets it done with the two to go flag in the air. Back to the bottom of turns one and two. Davis trying to be perfect at this end of the racetrack. This has been the better end for him. Three car lengths to lead down the back straightaway. Sanders pedaling hard. He'll pedal to the inside now with Davis. Davis flirting with disaster on that top lip and four. And he's a lot better off the bottom of one and two for the final time with the white flag out. Last time around the Lucas Oil Speedway here tonight for Tyler Davis. He hits a good set of corners in one and two. Has to do it one more time. Sanders deep to the bottom of three and four. Pulls to the left of the 65. Not going to get it done. Tyler Davis, your winner here on night number two of the Lucas Oil Nash or the USRA Nationals at Lucas Oil Speedway. Wow. Rodney Sanders, a late race charge.